Hello Internet world, welcome to my review of the Umidigi Bison X10 smartphone. This was very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's exchanged hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. Just going to share with you my experience of using this over the past few weeks. So let's get on with the review. As I mentioned earlier, this is the Umidigi Bison X10. I just want to show you the box contents first of all. Uh, model number RP01. Uh, this little instruction manual is of course included, shows you how to fit your uh, uh, memory card and your SIM. Very nice little user manual. We also of course get a charger. Now, depending upon which country you reside in, you will get a different charger. I'm in the UK, so it's a three pin UK charger. If you're in the US, for example, you'll get a two pin charger inside the box. And then we also get a charging cable, of course, nice bright red charging cable. And this is USB on one end, and then USB-C, if I can just get this out, USB-C on the opposing end. So nice charging cable included inside the box. And then of course, we get the smartphone itself. Now I've left this on just so I can run through uh, the specifications with you. This is the uh, pre-installed screen protector, but it's got some specs listed on here. So inside the smartphone, there's a Helio P60 octa-core processor, a 6150 or 6150 milliamp hour battery, which is really good, 6.53 inch large screen, 20 megapixel AI triple camera, and an 8 megapixel front-facing camera as well. This is a rugged phone, very, very rugged phone. If I show you the sides, it's almost as though it's in a case, but it's just a, a very tough, smartphone we've got these bumpers on the corners and that lends itself to some really uh, robust build quality also inside which sort of mirrors its robust quality is that we've got ip68 ip69k mil standard 8110g protection also a barometer and an e-compass built in as well We've got two independent customizable buttons, I'll show you those in a short while, and also Android 11, uh, as, as stock Android 11 as well. So we can peel this off, this information sheet, and underneath we've got a pre-installed screen protector. Very, very cool indeed. Before I show you this turned on, let's take a look at the side. So on the side we've got volume up and down. We've also got the uh, power button and fingerprint sensor. It says here waterproof. Uh, we've also got a customizable button just here. We've got a place where you can connect like a wrist strap or a lanyard. We've also got USB-C for charging. And if we take a look around on this side, we've got the SIM card and memory card slot under here. Also another customizable button as well. And then across the top, we have got a headphone jack. Very, very cool indeed. So on the underside, you can see we've got the array of cameras, 20 megapixels, eight megapixels. We've got a microphone. We've got a pressure relief hole here as well. We've also got the barometer. We've also got the SIM slot marked on the back here and the customizable button. So it's just like a sheet, clear film sheet that we can remove, of course. Uh, but I left that in place as well, just so you could see the layout of everything. The speakers down the bottom, it's a fairly decent speaker, goes pretty loud. Overall, it's a really nice array of cameras. The camera works very well. And again, I'll show you how the camera uh, performs in a short while. So my finger actually touched, or my thumb touched that power button. And you can see just how responsive and how quick that fingerprint sensor is. And it's perfectly placed under the power button. I love it when smartphone manufacturers put the fingerprint sensor in the power button because it is just a very natural uh, way of waking up your smartphone. You normally wake up in this manner and having the fingerprint sensor there makes total sense. Google Android 11, as I mentioned earlier, we've got some pre-installed apps. We've got a nice turn of speed as well. And it's just very, very responsive. For this price point, really impressed with the overall turn of speed. Also, I mentioned about the camera performance. Let's take a look at the camera. So I've been taking some pictures with the camera. Let's go into the gallery. You can see here some of the photos I took earlier. This one was in reasonable lighting conditions and you can see a really nice uh, amount of detail here 
very, very good tonal quality as well. And if we swipe across, you can see a low light photo just there, nice atmospheric photo. Here we have got, again, in good lighting conditions, this was a real nice amount of detail here. This one, again, in good lighting conditions, decent amount of detail. This was behind glass, I should add. So you've got a slight sort of opaqueness to it. And then here we've got in a sort of a light shining through here. I like this photo because this little guy here didn't produce this shadow. It was another one of my collectible figurines that produced this shadow. I just thought it was a cool photo. And then this was in dark conditions, so low light conditions. And again, a really good turn of speed there. Now, whilst I'm showing you this, you'll notice there's not much glare on here. And that's thanks to the finish on the screen. Uh, it's got an AG matte fiberglass finish on the screen. So it's not glossy. It's got a slight gloss to it, but it's more of a subdued silk finish to the screen than you'll have experienced on other smartphones. And I think that was a really good choice. So highlights for me, the, the turn of speed, camera performance is great. Love the fact that we've got these orange highlighted customizable buttons. Also, really love the battery life, easily a day between charges. If you are a medium user, then you're gonna get two days between charges on this. And then I really love the fact that we've got these rubber bumpers built in. It's waterproof, it's dustproof. It's a really rugged smartphone. It's absolutely fantastic. If you are looking for a rugged smartphone with a good specification as well, and decent cameras and exceptional battery life, then the Umidigi Bison X10 is well worth considering. So that's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you liked the video, hit the like button if you wanna pick one of these up for yourself, then please do check out the links in the video description. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.